Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. Before we proceed, do subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do share it among your friends and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's get started. So today's video is also a tutorial come time lapse of an animal just like the last one. And if you have not watched my last video, please do watch it. The link is there in the description below. Do check it out. You'll definitely like it. So today I'll be telling you how to draw a realistic tiger. So let's begin. This is the reference picture which I took from Pinterest. That's my go-to place if I need any kind of reference picture. But I'll suggest do not copy it from there. Try to convert it in your own style as this is a realistic sketch. So I had to copy it because that's the whole point to create the same image on paper. But you can always take inspiration from internet and then use it. And if you will practice it again and again, of course, your art style will improve. And you may get a unique art style, you never know. I have made some changes in the background. It is darker at, towards the edges and then gradually become lighter towards the center. In art, we give such kind of effect to create emphasis on the main aspect of the artwork or to make it stand out as in this case it is a tiger so, so that's why i have given this kind of effect in this video also i have used the grid method if you don't know what a grid method is i explained it in my last video the link is there in the description below you can check it out so let's begin i have put a washi tape to give a clean white frame to the whole sketch and i have used masking tape to hold the paper at one place begin i I have used HP pencil of Stedler. It's my favorite brand when it comes to graphite pencil and I have used it to make the grid and to make the outlines of the mean sketch that's the tiger. Okay so this whole tiger sketch I have made uh, by using charcoal pencils only. I have not used graphite pencils because I have shine and I do not like that kind of effect in a realistic sketch generally. It's just my opinion. I like to because like charcoal, they are more darker and we can create like very dark tones, which a tiger generally has like the patches and all. So they need to be really dark. So I have used a charcoal here and I have used a jelly roll to create highlights very limited highlights otherwise i have used mono zero eraser that's the best to create highlights in the hair the fur in that i have used mono zero eraser and at some places very limited very less places i have used jelly roll because i have seen some artists using jelly roll in the like whole fur and in the whole sketch and it looks kind of messy and doesn't give a realistic look at all if you so if you want a realistic look then minimize the use of jelly roll and you can invest in mono zero erasers that's the best and it has changed my life since i bought it <laughs> and to give the background i have used compressed charcoal of camlin it's really nice to give that dark background which i first love this kind of effect like the dark darker at the edges and then gradually it gets lighter and lighter St make the whole tiger stand out and like kind of in anger or something which i feel while looking at this sketch uh, do comment down below what do you feel while looking at this tiger i would love to see your responses and stuff i've also used needled an eraser at some places that's also uh, one of my favorite erasers so this one is from stedler i'll link it down in the description below you can check it out there all the art supplies that i have used in this video i'll link them down in the description below if you want to buy any of that you can check it out there in between the video, I have shown a close-up shot of the eye so that you can see the details, how the fur has to be made um, in a close details and the fur, how it goes, the direction and stuff. So for that, I have clicked a picture of a cl I've clicked a close-up picture. Do check it out. You'll get you'll get to know how to create that effect on the fur to make it more realistic. And making a, like a realistic tiger is all about layering charcoal pencils or any realistic sketch not only tiger even if you are making a portrait it's all about layering the more you layer the more realistic it appears 
so do not hesitate while the charcoal pencil or the graphite pencil always keep experimenting with whatever you have around especially in arts it's very important to experiment otherwise you won't get to know what will be the end result maybe it will be better than the previous one so you never know so do try layering it's going to give a more realistic approach to it it will look and it will definitely look better and again i am telling please limit the use of jelly roll in any realistic sketch because it doesn't look nice though it gives a nice highlight only where there is proper white highlight only use it at that places because even because if you use it on the whole sketch it is not going to merge with the fur and fur is not like each and every strand is coming out or is standing out there is some some strands which are visible and they, they all are overlapping so this is not going to help at all it is going to give that fake kind of approach to the whole sketch so limit the use of jelly roll and you can use mono zero eraser at last when you finish the whole sketch you can spray it with fixative spray i'll link it down in the description below you can check it out and purchase it from there if you want it is going to protect your sketch and it's not going to smudge like it does like the char like charcoal and graphite does so it is not going to smudge it is going to stay intact like it is and if you want to you know make some changes you can do that also and again you can spray the fixative but make sure that there is an even layer of fixative on it because an even layer is going to change the whole effect of the charcoal and always wear mask while spraying fixative it has harmful chemicals so it can affect your health so always wear a mask and it's corona time so you must wear a mask so that's the end i hope you like this video and if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up do comment down below your views positive or negative do comment down your views i hope they are positive i hope you all liked it and here are the final pictures i hope to see you soon again till that time take care have fun bye bye